What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the new iOS 12.1.1. Um, and as you can see, um, I'm not jailbroken. I do not have a CDA yet. Um, so what you need to do is, on your iOS device, start your Safari browser and go to this address here. Pangu12.mobile and here you will get a brief explanation how this works um, and they will tell you that you can't install Cydia on a device that has not been jailbroken because uh, Cydia has not been approved by Apple you cannot install apps that Apple hasn't approved but you can of course install Apple approved apps so the Cydia T, uh, sorry, the Pangu team found a smart way to simply hide the jailbreak inside of approved applications. So the result is that you get an application that is approved by Apple and you can't install, uh, and it has Cydia and the jailbreak hidden inside of it. So when you start this app, the jailbreak and installation of Cydia will start in the background. So simply go to this address. Pango12.mobile and then scroll to the bottom. And now click on this little icon here at the bottom to get to the free jailbreak injected apps store. And just click on this link here. And now you will be presented with a list of free, of course, uh, jailbreak injected apps. Uh, all of them are free, of course. You got nothing to lose but trying. And, uh, I'm just gonna try one. Now, like I said, all of these apps, of these apps, are free. But sometimes uh, these apps get patched by Apple. So if it doesn't work on the first app, then it simply means that that app has been patched, and you need to try another app. Uh, now we're going to open our jailbreak injected app, and right now uh, we need to keep this app running for about thirty seconds, roughly. Uh, this is to give the jail jailbreak time to install itself, because right now the jailbreak in Cydia is being installed in the background. Uh, you don't need to do anything in the app uh, or anything, it doesn't really matter. Um, the important thing is that you keep the app running for about 30 seconds or so. And, uh, that should be enough. Now we're simply going to restart our device to finish the jailbreak. And if you wonder about that blinking light over there, up there, it's the proximity sensor. You cannot see it with your naked eye, but you can see it if you record your phone. So uh, there's no funky business there. Try record your iPhone while you use it, and you will also see that blinking light on your video. Trust me, we'll try. I've had weird comments about that before. <laughs> People saying that it's a fake iPhone and stuff. Um, but I promise it's not fake. That proximity sensor is put there by Apple. By Apple. And there's the Pangu symbol. That's a good sign means that the jailbreak worked on the first try and that's good that's nice now i'm making a video about it and the jailbreak is finishing now installing and installing Cydia. and voila there we have Cydia. Um, you might get an error message when you start Cydia the first time. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, just 
updating all these sources uh, will make that problem go away. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect Cydia or the functionality at all. So just do a complete upgrade and uh, I'm just going to ignore that for now for the video. Uh, just do a complete upgrade and you will have a flawlessly working Cydia on iOS 12.1.1. And if you like this video, um, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.